No way he one taps. More with Luna, dude. Let's let him try. Let him try, man. Mort's gonna pop off this guys, match, maybe guys. I am a furry lover. No! L underscore F A underscore. Yeah, what are you? He's, he, he's gonna one-tap me? Six, out of here. Oh, wait, guys, it's gonna be for YouTube. Don't make me cuss. Don't make me cuss. What's going on, y'all? And welcome on in. In today's video, it was a great, great day. But in this video, let's go ahead and talk about Luna and Mort. They just got buffed, guys. And I did a lot of real-time arena RTA testing with the both of them. One match, I even used both of them together. Now, I'm going to talk about how I think they, how actually good they are post-buff. We'll go ahead and start and talk about what actually changed for them specifically. Maybe why they didn't work pre-buff, how I think they work now, and then recommended builds, exclusive equipment, overall thoughts at the end. In the meantime, let's try something new, guys. Instead of making a quick montage at the beginning like I normally do, I'll probably just go ahead and insert some clips from today's matches as I talk, and I'll just talk over it. Just keep in mind, you know, you'll see me twice. Uh, one of me will be over there, just with no muted... It'll be muted sound, but I'll go ahead and give some gameplay footage while we talk. Let me know if y'all like that style, okay? Anyways, thanks for watching. Let's get on with the video. Alrighty, guys, let's go ahead and start with Luna. So Luna got uh, a bunch of changes on the last buff patch. Skill 3 now has 50% defense pen. Skill 2 will now allow both crit hit chance and crit hit resistance to always be active. And skill 1 now gets a soul burn effect, 10 souls, to increase the numbers of, of attacks to max. I think this is one of my favorite changes in actual playing. It feels really good to allow Luna to have a reliable source of hard hitting damage. And the skill 1 at max hits is very hard, guys. That being said, as if you can notice my build here, I opted for a counter immunity build. Very tanky, but enough damage to still pack a punch, especially on counters. And now with the newly buffed S3, it just feels overall better. However, I think a lot of players are going to want to build their Lunas in a more hyper-aggressive. And I think this might be the best playstyle for now. If you guys can build fast and hyper-aggressive, give her an early attack up if you can too. And with the skill 3 exclusive equipment, I'm using the skill 1 because I'm on counter bruiser. But if you get the skill 3, which ad adds an extra turn if you kill a target, you can then, with her increased soul gain, I forgot to mention that, another change is increased souls when she uses skill 3, she'll be able to self uh, soul burn skill 1 right afterwards. So you would slap on Azure Comet, you would slap on Merciless Glutton, skill 3, kill a target, self soul burn skill 1, kill another target, and I know everybody's going to be doing that. Everybody's been doing that, and my Luna's actually been banned um, in half of the games I played today because people are afraid of that threat. I like building your tank here. I don't like going in on all the speed gimmicks or the speed, you know, it's not necessarily a gimmick, but you have to build entirely around it. And for me, it would be a gimmick. And I do think people will wise up. They'll either, like they've been doing banning Luna, if they have squishier targets, they'll either build more mitigation. They'll either try to CC here early. Um, they'll be aware. They'll learn about that two turn tap mechanic, in which case it loses a lot of value. That way, or that's why I like to run this tankier it's kind of like my old build it just works way better now with the soul burn and the increased crit hit resistance on skill two and then of course the extra defense pen on the skill three this is the big one guys i mentioned it just a second ago but now whenever you need to just 10 souls in a lot of comps if you're not running with a soul hungry unit you just pop this off and if there's ever if there's any defense break that unit is guaranteed dead if there's no defense break and the target is not that tanky also dead. Very feels very, very good. Feels very reliable. And that was one of Luna's main issues. Actually, same with Mort. One last thing to note, guys. Um, be aware if you are gonna build Luna beforehand, the increased crit hit chance 30% was not included in the skill sheet, the stat sheet. Now that they allowed it, both this and the crit hit resist to always be ap uh, active, it's not gonna it's gonna show in the skill sheet. So make sure beforehand you would have to add it yourself. Just be aware, guys, don't undercap crit your Luna, okay? But yeah, I think Luna's in a very, very good spot, guys. I think a lot of players that build hyper aggressive will do the two kill, the two tap combos. But if you guys want also, if you're a more bruiser, tankier player like me, give this build a shot. I think it's very good. The only problem is her and Mort share a lot of problems. If you wanted to build this kind of tankier, you know, counter style, there's another, there's another ice unit whose gear got stolen for Luna for testing that is kind of overall better, okay? But maybe you don't have Rem. Maybe you don't like Rem. And um, you want to play Luna. I think Luna is the next best if we wanted to do a lifestyle Ice Bruiser holding Sigurd. So very, very strong. The changes feel overall good, but I do think her best build will be that high nuke, high damage build. Oh, one last thing, guys. 
be aware the Ragnar spear got nerfed in multipliers. They didn't list this anywhere in the patch notes, I don't think. Uh, for good reason, I guess. I would rather they be transparent, but you know, people will complain. Um, overall, Ragnar Spear is still a buff, so don't get worried, guys. It's still overall a net positive in damage, but the multipliers, I think, got reduced from 1.5 to 1.1. Let me know in the comments below if you know the exact numbers. I think that's accurate. So what my chat was telling me earlier. Be aware of that, though, guys, the multipliers did get changed on the skill 3. I think it's good because if she kept those same multipliers while having 50% defense pen, she'd be way, way, way too strong. She would just get banned all the time. All right, guys, moving on to Mortelix. Mort, like I mentioned, has some similar problems to Luna, but he was an absolute blast to play today, guys. So his main issues beforehand, let's talk about what changed with him. Uh, he just felt a little bit too unreliable. His kit has everything. It has defense breaks. It has anti-crit hit resistance. He can ignore effect resist. Um, he does injury. He self-heals. He's immune to sleep and stun. He does a lot, but it felt like he just didn't do enough or it didn't happen reliably enough pre-buff. So they they buffed a lot of things and made it a little bit more reliable. Number one, soul burn effect chance like Luna. Uh, they moved it from skill three over to skill one and can now increase effect chance 100%. This is huge. Uh, 10 souls for a two turn defense break that while he's enraged will ignore ER. That's actually insane, guys. And I think that'll be his biggest play style moving forward. Pick him. And the injury, I'll get to injury in a second. It's still not great. I'll, we'll get to that in a second. But the injury plus the ignore effect resist means versus tankier players that like spam knights and soul weavers, he's going to feel really good. On top of that, any chance to, to land Elbrus, uh, like we're running here, counter set that's built in now, um, more chances to land that brutal, brutal defense break on top of also adding crit hit resistance for the team and speed for himself which is why i actually like speed set y'all um let's talk about the newly built-in counter build or counter set 30 percent chance is huge that's better than counter set and just like green Purgus, if y'all wanted to stack them you can i wanted to test that at first but my counter gear had too much attack and on top of that i think speed will give him more value he'll cycle back to skill threes much faster you'll have more opportunities to soul burn skill one and um, with increased speed, he's just going to go, he's going to feel really, really, he's going to feel good. He cycles really quickly uh, whenever he procs this, if you're also on speed build, okay? I like it. I think counter is also viable though, so pick whichever one you like more. Just on counter build, I think a lot of players will find out if you're tanky, and then they'll just ignore him from there, in which case you're super reliant on just Elbrus, and you kind of waste your set. But I think both can work. 50% counter sounds really good. I'll give it a try later. Um, the skill 3 though, injury, it, listen... Injury is still not great. It still doesn't work versus barriers, which I think should be changed. But the increased damage, mine isn't even max molded. It's noticeable, okay? Don't bring Mord if you're looking for a damage dealer. You would just bring Landy instead. If you want a tanky unit that has utility in terms of can't be slept, can't be stunned, provides two turn defense breaks, provides crit hit resistance for the team, and is just self reliant, self sustainable. You, that's when you bring more. The injury is just an added bonus. It does add up in longer fights, but in short matches versus hyper-aggressive units or hyper-aggressive cleaves, he doesn't feel as good if he does not proc this out-of-turn crit hit resistance. Just be aware of that. But overall, I think the damage increase here and then moving this Soulburn here makes him very, very fun, very, very viable, um, and just overall feels so much better, guys. Okay? Way, way better. Now, also in testing, guys, the weaknesses that I found, and let's also talk about the exclusive equipment um also you guys always ask on the let me show the main stats of my gear real fast crit hit damage neck health ring and then speed boots uh i can quickly show all the items and i'll go back to luna i won't forget i'll show you all the luna gear too a lot of y'all want to know but the weaknesses of mort guys um still a little bit rng reliant right like i mentioned even with the built-in counter set now if you just don't proc those counters if you miss that coin flip the additional coin flip to hit the sacred blessing the 50 percent crit hit resistance it feels like he just doesn't do enough, right? Because the skill three, if they have barriers up, you don't want to use it yet. The injury won't proc. The damage isn't insane. Um, he's more of a long run unit where over time he will provide value through the crit hit resistance and that potential two turn defense break on high effect resist targets because of the soul burn and because of the rage mechanic, right? If, ignore effect resist when he's enraged. I think those are the major selling points. And let's talk about exclusive equipments next. I opted for, and I think those of you that are going to build counter are going to want to do this too, 10% decrease defense chance, because 70% chance the two-turn defense break on any Elbrus, on any counter, is huge, right? The problem is, guys, like I mentioned with RNG and with value, what he provides for the team, I'm actually going to swap this to the skill 2, which I'll put a picture on the screen real fast, because I don't have one. The uh, two-turn on Sacred Blessing, the increased crit hit resistance. 
that's gonna make me feel like he's actually doing stuff for the team when it does proc because sometimes it just it never procs and two turns is actually huge um providing that extra crit hit resistance value so i'll be going for skill two i think skill one is still viable but now that they have the increased effect chance 100 percent, i think skill two exclusive equipment the sacred blessing two turns is his best in slot Overall, the weaknesses, though, if you wanted to build a damage Earth Bruiser, you kind of just opt for Violet, right? Uh, if you wanted more damage, you go for Landy. So just kind of similar to Luna. There's a little bit better picks in this current meta. But I do think as the game goes forward, the fact that he's immune to stun and sleep um, and the out-of-turn chance off of built-in counter plus Elbrus to provide crit resistance, maybe good versus Cleavers, the sun and sleep, good versus Cleaves. And then he has a spot versus very tanky units now with the uh, ignore effect resist skill one, okay? On top of that, let me show you all an added bonus while I show you all the Luna gear that I told you all I would. Let me show you all the Luna gear real fast. Um, keep in mind, guys, the skill two on Luna, the increased kit, crit hit resistance, the 30% that Luna has. In one of my clips, hopefully I show you all some footage, the crit hit resistance will actually, they don't stack on top of each other, but they'll do two separate checks. So if Mort activates his sacred blessing, they have to try to get through that 50 50 crit there and if they do get through they have to go through another crit hit resist check on luna so it is kind of a nice added bonus if you ever ran uh them together okay that being said guys i want you to try them both out let me know how you like them no joke i think they're both very solid much much better than before they're not top tier but they're right below in my opinion i'll do way more tests in the future uh this coming weeks so make sure you all stop by the Twitch live streams. I think they're very good. I'm not forcing them just because they're my favorite units now. I feel like they're actually viable, okay? And more than viable, very good. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. I appreciate all y'all. Peace out, everybody.